there are so many everyday uses for plants. Plants provide food, paper, clothing, medicine, shelter, oxygen, as well as take in carbon dioxide and prevent soil erosion, among many other things. They are very important to our lives. In the next few videos, we'll have a look at the different parts of plants. Today, we'll learn all about the roots. There are two main types of roots, taproot and fibrous roots. Tap roots have one solid root that is covered in little root hairs. Fibrous roots are dangly and spread out kind of like a spider web. There are actually three functions of roots. One is they anchor the plant to the ground. Plants would have a very hard time standing upright and in place without roots. The deeper the roots, the more anchored the plant will be. Roots also store food long term. Plants do this in case of times of harsh conditions. The roots act like their emergency food storage. This would be important during winter or long stretches of bad weather and so on. They also absorb water and minerals from the soil. While we see rain falling on leaves and sometimes water the top or all of the plant, it is actually through the roots that the plant is getting its water and minerals. Large trees and plants extend their roots down to access groundwater. This is also why soaker hoses and those bulb watering things and the pots you pour the water into the bottom of the pot work well to water your plants. How does the water get into and up through the roots though? It works because of osmosis. Before getting into osmosis, let's touch on diffusion. Diffusion is when particles of a gas or liquid becomes evenly distributed by moving from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. When you open the microwave after cooking popcorn, there is a high concentration of popcorn smell in the microwave, but a low concentration in the room. That popcorn smell will diffuse through the room until everyone knows there's popcorn and comes to take a handful. Osmosis is a type of diffusion where some particles move from high to low concentration through a barrier. Plant cells have a barrier called a selectively permeable membrane. This selectively permeable membrane allows water and nutrients through, but not anything the plant doesn't want, or anything it doesn't want to lose from inside. Water tries to balance out what can't pass through the barrier. There is lots of sugar inside the plant, but not much of it outside. Sugar cannot cross through the selectively permeable membrane. It's too big. So water will go in to the roots to try and balance it out. And this is how water gets into the roots. All right, there we have the two main types and three functions of roots. Keep an eye out for future videos about the rest of the plant.